Hello, uh, this is a demo of some design, redesign, revamp implementation. Uh, this is part of issue number 2250 uh, from Stacking Center. Um, this is like a, a big redesign with eight bullet points. Uh, we'll try to go one by one and also try to give the general idea of this uh, redesign. So uh, stacking sounder, uh notice what uh, they call a lot of inconsistencies regarding layout on the onboarding screens. So this is what we have on Albi master branch. Uh, this is the cur current uh, onboarding screens. The first time you install the Albi wallet, uh, you pass through like a series of setup steps. Um, and this is a, a responsive kind of uh, layout. So if I do, I don't know, resize. So what I have here is the left-hand size is the after. So maybe I should put this on the other side. Let's see if I can do this. Um, okay, so what you have on your left-hand side, side is the current Albi design and what we have on the right-hand side is the proposed uh, revamp. So as you can see on the on my Chrome, so this is Chrome, this is Firefox, but uh, it should be the same. Uh, on the current design, we have like uh, media queries that change changes the the aspects of this onboarding forms from one column, like mobile style thing with like big next button uh, versus desktop orientation with two column grid layout. So from what we understand, and oh, of course, <laughs> I forgot to mention, I'm here with Marcio and Marcos. They helped a lot with this patch, this implementation. So from what we could gather from the both the Figma file and the issue was that uh, the desired behavior for the revamp was to always use a more mobile-like layout that is 600 pixels wide, regardless of you are on a big screen or not. So instead of having a layout like this with two sides, these onboarding forms should look like if we look on the Figma reference. Uh, this is the first screen, the the screen where you set up a, a unlocking password. It has a place for a screenshot, but uh, this was not the reference we used. This was the reference we used. Uh, so create unlock password. This is the new on Figma. It has a bigger next button, uh, 24 pixels spaced items in the form. Uh, and it's just one column. And so this is the main idea. So one thing we did with this patch was to uh, remove like these two column uh, instances like this example here is a farm where the right hand side is filled with a big Albi logo and from our interpretation of the spec here uh, there's something about logo here logo 
not this logo. Delete oh, no, from the, the delete of the B. Delete of the B, yeah. So B, delete LBB from farms. We believe that uh, this bullet was referencing this kind of layout, whereas there's a B and a farm. Like this one, this one. So we, sh we work to get rid of the, the LBB uh, on bigger screens. So this is the new unlocking page. This is the equivalent of this. Uh, is this the sign up? Yeah. So the first one is sign up. The other, the next one is login. This is the This is the old sign up. This is the new sign up. This is the new login. This is this is the old login. This is the old sign up. New sign up. New login. Uh, the continue bit button is larger and we got rid of the back buttons because people already have the back button from the browser to use on those screens so no back buttons is larger continue are those button. things in issue yes uh yes. make farms 600 pixels wide with 40 pixels margins like the yellow the blue uh, margins here and uh here just the continue button and no back button on the references and on the bug description delete back button from forms uh so we don't use them anywhere all buttons under the forms should have fixed it 260 56 size. Uh, I think we did that. If we size this button. Yes, we did that, we did that. Uh, the button here, or the div here, I don't know. Computed, I don't know, trust me. <laughs> or just review the patch. Uh, let's see. Uh, the old the old farms uh, had some of them had videos or screenshots or nothing which would use the LBB as placeholder and the new uh, uh, it's only one column but here's an example with a video with a screenshot and with nothing so this is the new blue wallet without the placeholder this is the old blue wallet without the placeholder another difference here is the introduction of this logo the small wallet logo icons before the title like here my nodes uh lnc Blue Wallet, LND Hub, etc. Um, and this is also on the issue. Uh, the last bullet, Connector Farm is now display a logo. Uh, and the other two bullets are about spacing. The spacing between the header and the first paragraph. Uh, is the pink distance here 16 pixels so it's the distance between in this case the end of the logo it it's the the thing in yellow here the distance between the end of the logo and the start of the description on the case on the cases where there is a description there and some other cases like video, we don't know uh, if the video was supposed to be the first thing, but uh, this is our implementation. 
Mm, same thing for a screenshot. And I think this is a quick overview summary of the changes that we recently submitted for review on, I don't know, on 28. Where is the patch? 284. Yeah, here, 2284. Uh, that's it. Hope this was a nice introduction to the main changes. Uh, probably we missed uh, some stuff from Figma, but feel free to review and to, to suggest uh, improvements or, I don't know, uh, better ways to do the tailwind CSS stuff that are part of this pull request. Very nice, Fabricio. Thank you so much. Uh, and also, by, by the way, we did the rounded borders in the logo. Rounded borders in the logo as well. You're right. Yeah, uh, we can stash, <laughs> but uh, for curiosity, there is those. This was the commit by commit what we do. So there is back button, logo, logo connectors, spacements, spacing. I don't know where it's the rounded borders here. OK. Cool. I'll stop the recording. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.